All right, let's move on to our next running back again, injury base. Joe Mixon left Sunday's game with a foot injury, tried to play through it, and then ultimately left the game for good around the eight minute mark. Um, at home against the Browns in week seven, if he's not able to play, you got to fire up Geo in every league, uh, who is only rostered in about 3% of all leagues. Assuming that Mixon is given at least one week off to try and rest the ankle, how much money are you trying to go out and spend on Geo? I mean, Geo is getting goal line carries even with Mixon healthy and has a small, small role. I'm, I'm actually surprised he's not rostered in more leagues than that, only because he's, I mean, he's got that sweet mustache in his ESPN picture. Uh, that that you've just loved. I would let him so, take my mother I mean, out to dinner. Is what all I have to say. Yeah, you. Yeah, you've loved him from the word go this year. Just just on that picture alone. And if you haven't looked at it yet, I mean, he's worth almost spending one hundred percent of your fab on just to look at his picture <laughs> on your team on a weekly basis. <laughs> um, but in, in all seriousness, uh, if Mixon's out, I think that that Geo will ha- continue to have a role in the passing game. Uh, you know, this year alone, even when Mixon was playing, he's had weeks of four catches, five catches, three catches, uh, three more today. Um, I, I think that this is a, a probably a pretty low bid. It seems like Mixon's been banged up most of the year and then gets cleared. Um, the fact that he tried to come back into the game um, and couldn't go means that the doctors didn't see anything structurally wrong with it when they looked, because I'm sure that they did. Um, so, yeah, this is probably, I mean, again, if you're desperate for a running back, probably a 5 to 10% play just because I'm assuming the thing with Mixon isn't all that serious. And you, and you might, if it, it could be serious and he could still play next week. I feel like that's the Cincinnati way where, you know, it came out that he was questionable earlier this season um, with a back injury. You know, the day before the game, everybody went out and added Geo and then Mixon had his best game of the season. So like who who the hell knows what's going on with the Bengals, man. Um, but yeah, this is probably somewhere in the five percent range. I guess what I would say is I'd probably go. I'd probably go. Man, if I'm just trying to think about the guys that are needing to spend money to try and land one of some of these players have to be desperate, right? Because you're six weeks into the season. So if you are in the back half of your league, you need to start winning. Otherwise you are not going to make your playoffs. And so you need to start spending some fab. Um, even if it's just to buy, buy one win. Um, if I'm trying to get geo, I am probably trying to spend 15% of fab 10 to 15 uh, and and I think that that's, that's only if Mixon's out. I think that that's being aggressive. I th- I would say you're yeah. not going to know because I bet I bet he's I bet he's probably doesn't practice until Friday, or if he does, it's like limited all week, and then he's probably a game time decision for s- next week. And so you're just hoping a prayer. You probably won't know till ninety minutes before the game whether or not you're even going to be able to start Geo at all. So I wouldn't want to spend personally any more than 10% of fab and l- hopefully luck into mix and missing at least a week. Um, but if it says minor and he yeah, tried and, to come back be, and he couldn't go through it, go ahead. No, I was just going to say because the other owners in your league have just as much of a no idea as you do. I would be surprised if people are going out and spending that much on him because they don't they don't know what what's going to happen with Mixon. So to your point earlier, don't spend zero, don't spend five. If you're willing to spend five pence space, you know, spend six or seven to make sure you lock him in. I think 10 is way too high um, just because of the uncertainty with this. So I, I think that because everybody's facing the same uncertainty, Mixon, yeah, he had a touchdown, uh, a rushing touchdown. So he ended up with 10 points this week. Um. So, yeah, I, I, the Bengals throw the ball so much to to those three wide receivers. And so even if Mixon goes out, Gio Bernard is clearly not the bell cow rushing running back. And he's more of a scat back and will be used as such in the receiving game. You know, very similar to almost like a Jarek McKinnon. 
would would be used for the 49ers with the receptions. So yeah, I, I mean, just think going back to the days of like Jeremy Hill and, and Gio Bernard, and now it's Joe Mixon and Gio Bernard. Gio Bernard's going to be on the Bengals until he's like 60 at this point. Uh, and he already <laughs> looks like he's 60 in that picture. Um, so yeah, I, I, again, I think this is a couple dollar bid um, and and not much more than that. Whoa, didn't see you there. You can't sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry. I was just making some trades. How about you hit that subscribe button? I'll show you what it was.